Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webbicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Samir Abdul Kafi came up with for Spring MVC full Java based configuration. Samir agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Samir presents a web project that is configured exclusively with Java classes as opposed to XML descriptors. The MVC config class extends Web MVC Configure Adapter, a class provided by Spring. This class defines the beans for example, the internal resource view resolver is defined here. The Web App Initializer class replaces the traditional Web XML. This class is provided by the developer and implements a Spring provided interface called Web Application Initializer. Within this class, Samir provides a mapping for the Spring Dispatcher Servlet. This is the model class. This defines the user. We see several properties of the user. An ID, a first name, family name, that is to say a last name, and email. Here we have the view, a JSP page. The JSP code will create a table. The table has headings and the table consists of data provided by user's model. This is a attribute that is going to be created in the controller. Here we have the application controller called user controller. The at request mapping maps a URL to a method in this controller. This method is going to create the user's model object, which the JSP references. This will consist of a list of users that is obtained through the user service. This is injected by Spring. Now we're ready to test. You can download Samir's code at the link he provides in his blog. At the beginning of the blog, Samir provides the source code link. I have downloaded this code on my computer and I have installed the project on Tomcat 8. I will now demonstrate Samir's project on Tomcat 8. Notice I have provided the URL to the project I've added a button to the JSP get users list. I will click that button and we see the data displayed in a nice table format and that is built by the JSP that we looked at just a few moments ago. Thanks again to Samir for the inspiration for this video. For other articles related to developing Spring Web applications with Java-based configuration, please visit his blog at the URL shown here.